Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my review of the Pixel 4a Aftermath. Now, this is the device that could and can. That's how I actually term it because the Pixel Line devices are one that I haven't been fully fond of. Now, Pixel's got great cameras and the main Pixel Line has had some solid camera improvements that has shocked everyone. But a lot of things in the devices have been left Mm, kind of just middle of the road. Now, I've always liked the A line and with the Pixel 4a this year, I think, you know, Google has really found their stride with their devices. Now, um, when it comes to budget smartphones, 2020 has been that year where a lot of people have been looking for a smartphone that isn't expensive, but one that will actually fit their needs. So we started off the year with the iPhone SE and everyone was so excited about that device. And you know, we said, look, uh, we want something on the Android ecosystem. Then came over the OnePlus Nord, which really, really hit the stride, especially with high performance, right? In terms of gaming and things like that. But looking at the Pixel 4a as it stacks up to both devices, and I'm not necessarily comparing them in this video, you can see why this device really takes its own place. So you've got a smartphone that comes with a 5.8 inch display, 1080p, just about the right kind of size. So you're holding it in your hands, it feels comfortable. Now granted, you're looking at this video and it looks really small in my hands. I've got larger hands, but I still find it comfortable using the device. I think the look is really nice and symmetric. And then you also look at the back as well. Uh, I've, got the, uh, I've got it in black and it looks really nice and simple. Fingerprint sensor location is correct. The size is, is solid. Built-in stereo speakers, you've got fast charging at 18 watts. I can list the specs over and over again. So you've got enough features uh, to last you a lifetime. Now, um, you know, battery life, uh, is one thing, and I think the battery life is actually solid. It's a 3140 milliamp battery, and I'll say I can do a whole day with it, uh, not as a power user, but as a regular user in that in that sense. Now, this is of course is running uh, latest version of Android, at least Android 10 on here. Very smooth, uh, really uh, nice, seamless operating uh, functionality. Uh, powered by the Snapdragon 730G, which you would think, okay, in 2020, this is not a super powered device, right? Uh, but when you use this on a daily basis, you find that it fits those needs. And that's where I think Google has done the best with their software optimization on an older piece of hardware, right? To give you something that works well and is easy to use. Those are the main parts. Now, the biggest thing, of course, for the Pixel 4a is the camera. You're bringing the camera technology from the main Pixel line down to something cheaper at 350 bucks. And what do you get? Well, daytime, you've got lovely photos. It takes some really good photos. Portraits come out well. Um, the ability to snap photos that look really good that you can share with family or friends, and then you can say, look, I only paid 350 bucks for this thing right here. That is truly awesome. Now we move to nighttime photography as well. Low light capture with Pixel software is phenomenal. I mean, it, every year Google tends to shock us with what they do with their software, especially with just a single camera module. Um, whether you're doing telephoto or you're doing low light shots, it is really nice to see how well the images come out. Now, uh, it's always interesting to see how well those kind of that software trick will do with uh, a better sensor, but I think Google has showcased how well they can optimize something so that you spend $350, you take photos compared to your friends who have, say, iPhones or Galaxy, they're going, wow, that looks pretty nice. That's what you get off this device. Uh, so a lot of things though I do like. Now, when it comes to audio and speakers, it's quite surprising it's got stereo speakers and the way it sounds, the audio quality itself is really good. I'd like you to take a listen here. Very much my very good friends, you know, Colin Sigala is back, and I'm here to give you my 72 hour review of the Galaxy Z Fold 2, or Z Fold if you're from London. So, yeah, audio is great, it sounds really nice, um, and you've got a device that fits almost all your needs. Now, having a device like this is 
is great. And one thing you should do also is protect your device, right? And which is why I always use cases from our partners in this video, Spigen. I've uh, been using them for a long time and I love their cases, especially the thin fit case for me on this really matches the color and also the texture of the Pixel 4. So it feels like I'm actually holding the uh, the device itself. Now, another case I do like is the Tough Armor case. Uh, it's a bit more rugged, so if you want something with better protection all around and keeping your device uh, secure uh, with some nice uh, cushions on, uh, around the case itself, I think that's something that you definitely will like. Now, what's interesting is Speaking also has cases for their Pixel Buds, which I found out, and I thought that was really cool. Uh, I actually like this case because of the color matching between the black and white with the Pixel Buds. So that's something, you know, it, you can also add to your collection if you're looking uh, to protect your Pixel Buds or at least keep them safe because you know how we are with wireless buds. Now, speaking of cases though, another benefit of having a case on your device is while you are gaming. Now, you guys know I like to do a lot of gaming on the channel and gaming on this device is pretty good. It's actually good for what the device is, uh, but it does give you some really high temperatures. That's something you're gonna know. You're gonna get uh, over 100 degrees, like 104 degrees. So this is not built for gaming. It doesn't have any special kind of cooling. So when you're talking about benchmarks on this device, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, with the settings we had, Call of Duty a Mobile 59 frames per second, 99% FPS stability, you're looking at CPU usage of 17%, GPU wasn't shown, about a gig of RAM. Now, PUBG Mobile ran at 43% per second, which is much lower than we would like, um, and it used about 839 megabits of RAM. So, RAM usage was lower on that. Fortnite, on the other hand, ran at 27 frames per second. Fortnite runs at 30 in most Android devices, uh, max, and uh, used about 1.7 gigs of RAM, which is quite high. Now, Stadia, which of course is Google's street game streaming service, and I actually got some really good stability this time playing Stadia, so that's actually nice. 59 frames per second, so 60 frames, which is good, because you expect that. There's no CPU or GPU usage, and it used about, about 863 megabits of RAM. So, um, performance-wise gaming, you're gonna get uh, okay performance for you to actually play the games you wanna play, whether it's Call of Duty, PUBG, uh, Fortnite, those kind of games. Uh, just don't expect the highest level of graphics, but you can definitely stream games on this, whether it's Stadia or um, you know Xbox Game Pass, you can use those services on here to play. And I think that really sets the tone for what this device is. This is the everyday smartphone. Um, and the reason why that's in the title is that this is a smartphone that you can give to anyone and they can use right away and there's just, just no complexities to it. Uh, the simplicity with the software, there is simplicity with the ease of use of camera, and this is very nice simplicity with design. It's got almost all the things you need in the smartphone uh, for you to carry day to day. And I think a lot of people like that. So if you guys have any questions, any comments about the Pixel 4a, if you're looking to pick one up, I say yes, I definitely recommend this device to pick up and you can use our link down below. Um, and also if you wanna pick up any of the cases I mentioned, definitely go ahead and use them. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like, share, definitely subscribe to the channel. And I can't wait to see more from the uh, Google Pixel team. I'm quite impressed with this device. I've been on the side where I haven't liked Pixel devices in the past as much. Um, it had great features, but I think the Pixel 4a has put me on that camp of saying, Google is finally here. So thank you very much guys and always enjoy entertainment.